So in a previous video, we talked about looping through nodes and doing stuff, which means we're gonna to have to start looking at something that's a little bit more technical, it's lists. Lists are great, don't get me wrong, but you know, they're, they're, this is gonna be our first proper contact with Python, I think. So I've got this set up here, which is as you'd expect. I'm just gonna grab the, oh man, um, I'm going mad. I'm trying to move the wind, I'm trying to select it on the OBS window. It's just not gonna work. So I've selected my four nodes and I've done it in a particular way because if you remember with nuke selected nodes, it gets the last thing I touch as the first item in the list. So I've selected it right to left. So we've got deliberately grade blur transform roto, grade blur transform roto. So I've just put these there just so it's easier so you can uh, visualize this, right? Now, when, it, oh, actually, well, if you remember this little square bracket notation here, when you print it out like this, actually tells us that it is a list or an object that reports like a list. Now you can actually find out a little bit more type of many things. It's a list. And also you'll notice that I'm choosing to use a variable name that has the plural here, things. If you recall from the previous vid, I actually changed it from the node, which is singular. So I had the node equals nuke selected node. And I changed it to the nodes equals nuke selected nodes. So this is because future Anthony is likely to be in a rush or sleep deprived or one of those things. And having something like this is a very clear signal to me that, ooh, I meant there was many things in this bucket. All right, whereas if I did something like this, if, if I had code, I just quickly changed it like, oh, 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 I fixed it. Code's working, walk away. I'm likely to come back and go, huh, the node. Why is this not, what, what is going on here? Which is why I do plurals here. So it's, it's a convention you'll see some of us use, um, but yeah, strongly recommended. Do that for, for your future benefit, basically. So the first thing we're gonna talk about with a list is how to get things out of it. Uh, it's a kind, I'm referring to this indexing. I don't actually know if that's the correct word. Just give me a second while I pause and check, um, check Google. Yeah, that works. Indexing, cool. So indexing is how we refer to specific items in the list. And we do it this way. So many things is the, uh, the list. We use the square bracket and the number between it is the index. So we start from the left, or we start from the number zero, just because it's obvious. And it's gonna give us grade one. So it's actually this item here. Uh, as I just alluded to, one is the blur, two is the transform, three is the roto. So we're actually indexing left to right. So zero, one, two, three, okay. Uh, if you're curious, like I hope you are, You'll have done this by now. It's like, hmm, what does four give us? Gives us an error. Uh, the error should be hopefully fairly readable to you now. It's telling us there's a list. Yeah, sure. The list index is out of range. Now, I refer to this as the index. Many things is list. So it's saying the index you've supplied to the list is an out of range is just, you're asking me for something that isn't there, All right? So, Equally, I'm hoping those of you who are curious have already jumped to, ooh, numbers A. Eh? If you could have a zero, why can't you have a negative one? Good question. No reason you can't have a negative one. So negative one gives us roto. So let's, let's, let's do this out quickly and just see what negative two is. Negative three and negative four. So negative three is the blur, negative four is the grade. So if you remember the order in which the positive numbers went, zero, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So positive numbers starting from zero count from the left forwards. Negative numbers starting from negative one and going backwards count from the right backwards. So you're actually going from the end. Okay, and same thing occurs if we increase this to negative five, it's gonna give us the exact same error message. So you can almost read this as saying, uh, techni technical words here, the list index is out of range. Minus five is outside the range of values that you can give me and I will return you something valid. But you can also treat it as a, you've gone too far. 
So a list in terms of going from right to left, from this way backwards, minus five takes you into the, the unknown gray zone. It takes you outside the range of where the list lurks. So same way with going forwards, zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Four takes you into the unknown area where the list is just doesn't exist. So it gives you the same error message. So that, that's these guys here. Now that's really handy um, in, in several cases. The thing I'd probably demonstrate right now is, let's say we're dealing with nodes, may not be that useful, may not be immediately useful. But let's look at say a file name. Let's, let's say we're talking about, um, I don't know, let's say we're talking about penguins. Penguin dance, you know, one, two, three, four, dot XR. Okay, so that's one file name. So we might have a another type of penguin. So again, two penguin dots. And we might have people that name it weirdly like this one, like red gentoo. I don't actually know if that's a valid penguin, but these guys here all look similar. I'm just gonna move this across, see if I can make it more um, immediately obvious. Uh, yeah, cool. All right. So we might have a situation where we just want to get the frame padding. So this is whatever frame it's on. Okay. So to do this for this first copy, we could do this. I'm going to split this on dots. Uh, this is all string manipulation, by the way. So I'll split it on dots. And you can actually see here, we've, confer we've converted this long string into a list. Square bracket, square bracket. All right, we can run the type of it if you want to it yourself. It's a list. Great. And we know what we can do with lists. We can index things. So if we wanted the um, the frame count here, it's 0, 1, 2. All right, cool. So let's get 2. Oops. 2. And the frame count is hashes. Brilliant. Problem solved. Let's run this code on this guy. That worked. Great. Because this is an underscore. Let's try this on this guy. That's not a frame range. That didn't work because someone had named the file in this strange kind of fashion. So they followed a convention, but maybe not the one we wanted. Obviously you could rename the files, but the other way you could do is you can count from the right. So you can actually see it's always some garbage, I don't know what it is, a frame number and then .exr. So we can just change this to count backwards. Because negative two would be, negative one would be EXR, negative two would be this. So this is now gonna work. And that's an example of why sometimes you might wanna count from the right hand side of the list. So this is a, this is a very contrived example, but hopefully the gears are turning around and you can get a feel for it. So the next thing we're gonna do briefly is list slicing. Now indexing here is getting an item from a list. So we take the list and we just seek and find that thing. Slices are similar to what the name suggests, taking a slice of the list. So let's go back to this many things here. So we might wanna go, let's say we get a list of nodes and we only, we have some code that's really expensive and we can only process two at a time before asking the user, are you sure you wanted me to do this? So we just wanna get the first two items from the list. So we could, you know, that's the first item, that's the second item, or we could do this, zero to two. Grade one, blur one, these guys here these two here. So what I've done is I've said, start at the zeroth position, start at the very beginning and get me to, well, stop at position two. So get me zero and one, and then don't get from there. So uh, if you know, this is the first three, grade, blur, transform. Now we can start at a different point. So I'll just, just to make it super obvious here that, oops, so in this case, the second number is not this many. The second number is where do I stop? So the pattern is start, stop. So start at one, stop, get everything up to, but not including the third, the 
item called three. So zero colon two is these guys, zero colon three, zero, one, two, one colon three, one, two, right, well, the three stop. So only those two, All right? So that's, that's giving us a list. Once you can get a slice of a list, you can then index that list. So you, there may be various reasons for, for how you wanna do it. You might wanna get the first couple of them. You might wanna get the last two items in the list. Remember with this example with indexing we just did, minus two is just simply count from the end. But what we said here is it's start to stop. So if we wanted to get the transform and the roto, so where do we wanna start from? Well, we don't know how many items in the list are. Let's let's put a um, let's let's put another grade in. So you know, let's do this guy. All right. So I've got another selection here. Um, let me just run that again. All right. So many things is it's got a bunch of extra stuff in there. We still just want the transform and the rotor. We want the last two. So we want to start at minus two, and we just want to go to the end. So you can emit certain arguments. Transform and roto. So you can use negative numbers here just as equally as where you where you would use positive numbers. It does a this kind of stuff does look a little bit, a little bit strange. Once you get used to it, you'll start, you know, understanding what's going on. But you can also just add comments. Yeah, that's what comments are there for. If it's something that's a bit strange, future you will probably be thanking yourself once you put these kind of things in. And over time, it'll become a bit more natural and you'll decide, oh, I don't, I've over commented, get rid of the comments. Or you might find that these are actually important things to put in. So that is uh, a useful bit of list slicing combined with the indexing. And there is one last thing here. You should be able to find with these keywords, basically Python list slicing and indexing, uh, a, a whole wealth of tutorials on this kind of material. The thing I'm just gonna point out here is the third form of this guy. So you remember that in this setup here, uh, I'll just redo it. So actually, uh, in this setup, I actually selected them deliberately back to front so I could run this and give you um, a, a list that was ordered in the same way that I had presented on screen. It's an artificial thing I had to do just, just for, the, for the presentation here. I could have easily reverse the order of the list. And we'll, we'll do that now. So we do it using a form of the, uh, the list slicing notation. So it's gonna look a bit weird. Colon, colon, negative one. Now you've only ever seen in these examples above two, col uh, sorry, not, not two, one colon. This is the first time you'll see the second colon. But I'll show you what this does. You'll notice that the result here is Roto transform blur grade, Roto transform blur grade. And if I do it without the reverse, it is grade blur transform Roto. So they've changed order. This is probably the most common thing you'll see where the list is reversed in order, All right? So this, uh, we'll expand this. So the full thing is start, stop, step sounds like a public safety health campaign um the start stop step notation is separated by these colons so it says start at this point go until this point and do it in these kind of increments so if you want to get every other item your step would be two if you don't supply a step it's assumed the step is one you just want to progress in one direction normally so what we've gone here is start start at the start, stop, stop at the end, go in reverse order. That, that's, that's all we're saying here. So that's another handy dandy usage of it. But yeah, that is a brief introduction to Python list and I guess list slicing and list indexing. Have a look for some more general purpose tutorials on this. This isn't comp specific or nuke specific, it's actual general purpose Python. If you want, let me know. I can probably talk more about this in a more um, visceral kind of manner. But yeah, we'll be using this concept uh, very shortly in loops and other things like that.